Alright guys and welcome to a FIFA 13 squad builder with myself Fink Jordy and today we are going to be building a Liga BBVA 86 rated team as you can see the manager is already in but it has got 99 chemistry without the manager in the 4-2-2-2 formation and the first player in the team is Victor Valdez the uh, second choice Spain goalie because of Casillas obviously but he's got 83 diving, 81 handling, 78 kicking, 84 reflexes, 60 speed and 91 positioning. Now you really can't go wrong with Victor Valdez and Nets. He is a very, very strong goalie on this game. And we will be moving on now to the right back position. Which is actually a left back playing right back. He gets a 7 chem bond. He's a very good player. It is going to be Barcelona's Jordi Alba. Uh, 90 pace on him. Very, very strong defender indeed. He, he likes to go forward as well, that's the only bad thing I can really say about him is when he's going forward he kind of struggles to come back sometimes. But 90 pace, 64 shooting, 75 passing, 81 dribbling, 78 defending and 68 heading for only 26k. You really can't go wrong with him to be honest, he's a very very strong player and I picked him over Contral. But uh, then next to him we've got uh, Sergio Ramos, uh, in my opinion the best defender in the game by a mile. He's 79 pace, 61 shooting, which is definitely a lie, his long shots are cracking, 75 passing, 72 dribbling, 84 defending and 88 heading. With 3 star skill, 3 star weak foot, he was 125k, I think he should actually be going for probably about 150 to 200k, because he's absolutely class on this game. And next to him, the partner in crime from Real Madrid, it's that man Pepe. Uh, 74 pace, 48 shooting, 60 passing, 61 dribbling, 84 defending and 82 heading. 40k, a bit pricey for him, maybe he will probably come down in price but um, maybe I think he's probably worth about 25 to 30k, not really 40k but uh, at the moment the way the market's going that's the kind of price I had to pay for him. And uh, then in left back we're using Marcelo, another Real Madrid player in the team. Uh, which is definitely a feature of this squad. I think there's eight Real Madrid players in it. Uh, we've got Marcelo, obviously, and he's 83 pace, 67 shooting, which is amazing. He's got an amazing long shot, 80 passing, 83 dribbling, 80 defending, 70 heading, three star weak foot, three star skill, and he was 47 and a half grand. If you didn't see that, he's a very very strong player indeed. And uh, moving up to the CDM above Pepe and Marcelo is another Real Madrid player, it's Xavi Alonso, 58 pace. You'll be thinking, oh, he'll be terrible CDM. No, he won't. The 75 shot, the 88 passing is pinpoint. Uh, 71 dribbling is kind of ball control. Isn't the best, but 81 defending makes up for that, and he's a very, very strong player indeed. And uh, next to him, we've got uh, one of the Barcelona players in the team. It is Cesc Fabregas. Uh, 69 pace, 80 shot, 90 passing, 84 dribbling, and 70 heading. Uh, 37.5k there. Uh, Chavi Alonso, by the way, was only about 25 grand. But um, the 90 passing on Fabregas, honestly, he, he doesn't miss passes. He gets like 99% of the passes accurate. Uh, and above him, we have got uh, the fly eye, frog eye, whatever you want to call him, Meza Ozil. Great player indeed, this Meza Ozil. A fabulous left foot. Only two star weak foot, though, but his left foot more than makes up for that. He's got 77 pace, 75 shooting, 85 passing, 88 dribbling. And I really can't fault EA on this. Mesut Ozil is insane on this game. He is really, really top notch. He's definitely one of the best players I've used. Uh, I would definitely say he's better than David Silva. And I used him earlier in Ultimate Team when I had a Premier League team. And then we come to Luka Modric, former Tottenham midfielder. He's went down two ranks from the last game, but somehow, I don't know how, but he feels better on this game. He's got 78 pace, 73 shot, 86 passing, 87 dribbling, 4 star weak foot, 4 star skills. The difference between Mesut Ozil and Luka Modric on this game is minute. You cannot tell the difference, but Modric is somehow 10k cheaper. And now the first striker, it is another Real Madrid player. It's that man Karim Benzema, the French starlet. 
He is an absolute god on this game. 85 pace, 83 shooting, 71 passing, 84 dribbling and 76 heading with a 4 star weak foot and 4 star skills. He's worth every single penny of the 65k I paid. He is one of the best strikers I've used on this game. Many a time uh, he scored more than 4 in a match. In fact, there was one match I actually scored 7 with Benzema in the game. Falcao got 6 in that game. Falcao's the other striker in the team. And look at those stats. 78 pace. Lies. 83 shooting. Lies. 57 passing. Sometimes yes. Most of the time not. 78 dribbling. Lies. The ball sticks to the man's foot. And 90 heading is bang on the button there. Because his heading is amazing. He's got the 5 star weak foot. The 4 star skills. He was only 50 grand. I could not believe that Falcao was 50 grand. He is half the price of Van Persie. Remember I was saying I used a Premier League team? Van Persie was up top. And Falcao's conversion rate against Van Persie's conversion rate. Falcao just shits all over him. It is incredible. But the 5 star weak foot is the reason he plays at right striker. Because as soon as you get that ball on his left foot, the weaker foot, it feels like a strong foot. He just whacks it and bang, top corner. Bang, shot on target. Falcao and Benzema up front are deadly together. Uh, in the words of Vanilla Ice, I think it's deadly like a poisonous mushroom. Those two up front, definitely deadly like a poisonous mushroom. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this squad builder. We've got the goals coming up right now. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. Could you just please like, favourite and subscribe for more FIFA 13 videos. Peace. I'm turning red Feel so alive